hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fail Race episode on Forza Horizon 2 with a clip from Matthias Hawk. And uh, the AI have not taken too kindly to street racing today. No, they shall throw a Mercedes at the Nissan as it goes round the corner. Very unfortunate uh, positioning there. Crazy sweet again on Horizon 2. This is when we were setting up, ready to start for a versus the community. And you will now see why it is so hard for us to line up neatly. Because lag will strike and cars will suddenly appear and jump across, <laughs> jump across the group of vehicles. I, I, who knows? Absolutely no idea what's going on. Going on there, but that is why this is often a mess when we start first community because well, lag doesn't doesn't really like us too much. A mysterious glove on the uh, Fast and Furious Horizon has found a Dodge on its roof, just sort of sitting there. How it ended up on its roof there, I have absolutely no idea. But um, yeah, <laughs> spider. Now he's now going to go and uh, try try and give it a rescue as he recovers it back onto the road, tips it over, and oh look, it's my driver tar. It's been looking a little bit too closely at how I drive, and has managed to, uh, <laughs> yeah, managed to get itself a little bit stuck. Uh, up next, Race 07 with uh, little Audi. That uh, I'm not sure if we're following him or if it's an AI car that spins at uh, the first corner at Hockenheim, and then all of the cars get stuck. Just everything plows in. I think maybe four or five vehicles made it through that. Uh, <laughs> just everything is parked. You know, we're just going to have a little car park, or quite a very big car park, with our Formula Fords or Formula Rookie or whatever it is that uh, that there'll be this replay from further back. Just oh, someone's got a black and orange one. I like the livery on that car. Uh, somebody who's got round the group and then drives straight back. Oh, we hit my car. God damn it. Uh, yeah, turns out that um, the first quarter here is or there is quite dangerous. Uh, Whisper King with a very a very unhappy Cleo. The uh, <laughs> like, what? Um, the, the, the Renault wanted to show off its breakdancing skill. I love how the race engineer is saying you have a you have, you got a jump start and you're going to have a penalty. I think that is perhaps the least of his worries. He pauses the game to see if it fixes it. I mean, the car's kind of no, it's still not very happy, and eventually it lands on its uh, on its wheels. That's uh, that's a peculiar one. Not seen them do silly stuff like that on the uh, the start line. Uh, the Gamer Nerd 98 again on a project cars driving. I think it's a BMW GT car of some sort at uh, Road America. Gets it wrong over the curb. Can't quite save it. Bumps the wall and then we have an orbital BMW. It's just up into the air and <laughs> spinning around at fantastic speed. Again. I, it's the Project Cars space program. Every game has to have a space program for uh, for cars, it seems. Again, still on uh, on Project Cars. This time we have got a supercar. Gets a little bit wrong through uh, through the final quarter and probably rolls the cart. Now I've managed to roll a cart as well. It's the wheelie that goes on after the roll of the cart and the fact that it is such a big crash. All the bodywork reassembles itself. That's quite impressive. Uh, you have a very magic. I, I want the magic supercars. They seem like a <laughs> quite a useful thing. Uh, we're back to the crew with YBCR07 driving his uh, Lamborghini to, towards the, or through the Florida Keys, going over the big jumps, gets this one just a little bit wrong, aims a little bit too much to the right, uh, sort of grinds along the barrier. Uh, Lamborghinis weren't meant to sort of uh, to do to do grinds. It's a little bit stuck now. It's perfectly balanced in the. <laughs> I've seen cars sort of glitch through the barriers. I've not seen one land perfectly balanced in the uh, on a barrier there. Uh, Gij five seven one on GTA five has managed to park his Audi. I'm not sure if he was intending to park it in there or whether he was supposed to jump over the train and just got lucky and, uh, and landed it in there. But uh, yeah, the car is, is stuck in there and wasn't too happy about being in a train. As uh, <laughs> second he gets out, promptly gets run over. Then uh, who knows? It just goes backwards, things explode, and people fall out of the train. Uh, Stevie, uh, 1055, uh, doing the heist heist setup mission where you have to try and steal the uh, the barracks, and we have the uh, the insurgent. Now he's busy shooting at the messer that is coming towards us. Doesn't notice that the gunner is starting to shoot at a helicopter that's quite rapidly coming down. <laughs> Whacks the side of the insurgent. He lands a perfect double roll. The gunner has got thrown out, but he's okay. These insurgents are tough. They survived a kamikaze helicopter. And finally, we have Reezers on GTA 5 with... Well, we start off with a big old brawl. What caused this, I am not quite sure. They don't, it's not a player causing this, really, uh, because none of them are after him. They're not trying to get him. They're just sort of... Uh, obviously, one car's had an accident with another car, and kind of all of the people have poured out, and now there's just a fight. Uh, there's, there's plenty of dead bodies already just sort of 
lying around at this point. But notice in the background how the... Uh, <laughs> there's a truck. The truck is very confused. I don't quite know why the truck is confused. He can go forward. There he is. Look, there's space to go forward. And he's gone forward into a barrier. Some paramedics have arrived. There's, the baller is just sort of stuck on the train tracks trying to go. The truck had sort of freed itself and then gets himself stuck again, blocking the baller off. There's a sabre that sat there wanting to get across. Uh, you can see we're on, on a train track. The taco van's exploded. Uh, again, there's a few exploded cars actually. No idea what happened there. The truck is, is still stuck. There, now there's another panto coming to, uh, to join in the chaos. And you may have spied to the left. There is a train coming. Yes, this is not a good place to have sort of, uh, well, this. Par paramedics are just crouching down and then giving up. The ball is getting more and more frantic trying to, to get out of there. Uh, the panto's giving it his best shot. It's not worked. Train comes plowing through, and now the explosion starts. The ball has kind of got knocked back this way and got himself stuck under another truck. Sabres freaked out as over here. More explosions go on as uh, <laughs> we have a fiery jeep. I'm pretty sure that guy just got out of a fiery jeep as it went past, and and he's well, he's not really okay. He's now caught up in all of this nonsense. Uh, we've seen a big explosion chain before go on, but. Uh, <laughs> This one is pretty impressive. So there's the first couple of explosions that have gone off, and it just sort of just keeps going on. Now there's a, a blue saber that's on fire. So I don't know how on earth that's got, that saber I think's got stuck on top of the wreck of stuff. There's still another explosion gone on somewhere. You can see two or three cars. The camera wibbles and wobbles as everything explodes on the other side. And <laughs> more cars. Just, the player is doing absolutely nothing here. It's had absolutely nothing to do here. Just sort of stood and watched. There's a huge amount of explosions going on. This time a ball is ending up almost, almost got to the uh, got to Franklin here. This has got to be one of the most prolonged explosion changes. Uh, ex uh, explosion chains. Sorry. And then the I love how I think it's a piece of bodywork. I'm not sure if it's not a bonnet. Just sort of oh, it's a door lands under Franklin's feet at the end there. That's an impressive explosion chain. That's. Uh, <laughs> That really is. Uh, to, just to come from a random brawl and then sort of all, all vehicles stuck on a level crossing. Yeah, I, that's quite a, quite an impressive uh, impressive silliness that uh, GTA 5 has concocted. However, that is it for this episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, you can go to our forums. There will be a link in the description. At the very top, there is the Fire Race Clip Submission section. And in there, that is where you submit your clips. And all the rules and how to submit clips can be found in there. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching and until next time uh, goodbye.